Jamie Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage here today. Today's DIY is Milk Paint 101. It's all about Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. To order this milk paint, check the link below to visit my friend Sasha's page. She is the creator and owner of Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. Today's color that we're going to be using is Cherry Pie. We're going to be adding extra bond and finishing our piece with oil wax. Today's project is a small entertainment center, perfect for a TV about 40 inches. It's just your basic run of the mill, it's probably MDF, it's got a really shiny surface and we're going to turn it into something a little fun, a little chippy. The first thing we're going to do is take our dry milk paint and mix it with water. The cool thing about Sweet Pickens Milk Paint is it comes with a Ziploc bag, so if you weren't going to mix up the whole quart, you just pour out what you need and then you can zip it up. So I've got one quart of water in here and it's warm. The blender bottle whisk gets all the chunks out. I don't use my blender bottle because I don't really do shakes or smoothies, so it's a good way to use my little round whisk. I'm gonna add my paint to the top. <gasps> okay, well that was a little bit of a mess. In the future, pour the milk paint in and then pour the water on top. That way you don't get any overflowing. Now that we've got it all in there, I'm going to shake it and mix it together. It should be the consistency of a melted milkshake. Now we've got our paint all mixed up, I'm going to add our extra bond. Normally I don't like to add extra bond because I want a really, really chippy look. But this is so shiny that I fear that if I don't add some extra bond, it'll all chip off and I want some paint to stay. The normal ratio is two parts of milk paint to one part extra bond, but I'm just gonna add about three tablespoons to my mix here. So it fills up to the top. And then I'm gonna shake it in. Now that we've added our extra bond, we're gonna go ahead and pour our paint into a wide mouth jar. I didn't have any wide mouth candy jars and I can't shake it in this because the, the lip is not airtight. But I need something that I can get my paintbrush in and out of. There we go. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 20 minutes and it'll thicken up and then I'll get, be ready to paint. Sweet Pickens Milk Paint takes one to three coats. It's important to do nice, long, even strokes, and there shouldn't be any clumps in there when you're brushing. If you notice as you're brushing that there's clumps, you need to mix it some more. The other reason I like to wait for it to settle down and thicken up a little is it also gets rid of all the frothy bubbles that happen when you're shaking up your milk paint. I'm gonna go ahead and get my first coat on here, and then I'll show you how it looks. first coat is dry. You can see it's pretty chippy here. So I think I'm going to add a little extra bond to my second coat. Maybe a little more. But that's the only place that's really chippy so I'm not really sure why that happened. Maybe something was on there and I didn't get it off. Ordinarily you don't have to add a, any extra bonds to your subsequent coats. But in this case when it's that chippy, I'm going to have to. Our second coat of paint is all dry. It's not super chippy, but we're gonna go ahead and sand it with our sanding block to make it nice and smooth and to get any loose pieces chipped off. And then when we're done, if it's not distressed enough, I'll give you a little technique to do some controlled distressing um, with a paper towel and some water. So I'm just gonna take my sanding block go over the edge and you can see, Zeb's gonna close up for you. You can see that it's chipping off in kind of an uneven fashion, which is exactly what we want. I'm just gonna go over the whole piece and I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. Okay guys, we're on day two of our project. I got a little tired once midnight rolled around and I decided it was time to call it quits. I distressed the whole piece. Zeb's going to get you some close-up pictures so you can see some of the cool chipping distressed. A little tip for you, if you don't get enough chipping and you want to distress, you can take a wet rag and run it along the edge and anywhere you want to take the paint off and you can distress with a wet rag. It works really good and you get a nice smooth distress finish. So a few of the areas that didn't chip, I went ahead and wet rag distressed them. 
now that all the chippy pieces are where they are and I've sanded it and it's buttery smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it to protect it. Milk paint is porous, so you need to seal it either with a wax or a polyurethane or something because it won't be protected otherwise. I am using Sweet Pickens oil wax. Oil wax is a non-toxic wax that is, is liquid, kind of like a cooking oil would be, but it dries hard. And it will dry either to a satin finish or you can buff it to get a higher sheen. First, you need to brush it on. So I've poured it in a separate cup here so that way I don't contaminate my oil wax container. Just in case there's any chippies, I don't want them to get in my wax. So you're just gonna brush it on in nice, even, long strokes. It's kind of thick. If you've ever um, been around castor oil or anything like that, it's kind of that consistency. And you're gonna brush it on the whole piece and then let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes to penetrate. And then we'll buff it off with a rag. Our oil wax has set for about 20 minutes. We're going to take our lint-free rag and we're just going to wipe it off. After you wipe it off, you're going to let it cure for 24 hours. Any smell from the oil wax will be gone and it will be nice and hard. It will be water resistant and ready for years of use. The nice thing about oil wax is that you don't have to reapply it. Once you do it once, you're good. All right guys, looks like we're all done. We used Sasha's Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Cherry Pie, we added Extra Bond, and we finished it with her oil wax. To purchase the products used here on our episode today, go to sweetpickensfurniture.com. You can look below for the link. Be sure to also follow her on Facebook. She has amazing products and projects. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.